Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations. This is take two of this video, and the other one, my cat was literally eating everything in my craft room. Maybe she's trying to tell me she's hungry. Um, but anyway, I have a card share for you. Um, I've been making several cards, but I've had to give them away as I've made them, so I haven't been able to share them. I had to make my dad's birthday card yesterday, and I literally made it yesterday, and then gave it to him like two hours later, so I didn't have time to film it. I really liked the way it came out, though, but whatever. And then my mom asked me to make a 90th birthday card for her co-worker's grandma, for co to give to her grandma, so I made that, and my mom literally was here before I even finished making it, so I didn't get to film that. But I did get to film, or I did get to keep this one before I gave it to my mom, so, um, my mom asked me to make, my mom's co-worker asked me to make a graduation card for her daughter, and I literally only have one graduation stamp, as far as I know. I might have something else in there, but, you know, I have so many that I don't know for sure if I have something else. But I'm pretty positive that this is the only graduation stamp that I have. And I bought it two years ago to make a card for Andy's grandma because she was going to a grad party and she asked me for a card. So I bought it for that specific reason, so I'm glad that I get to use it again. Um, and my coworker, her daughter, just graduated from high school and I have her grad party next week, so probably use this to make her card too. So it's good that I'm finally getting some more use out of this. But this is the um, Mocha Skylar by Tailored Expressions. But anyway, so here's my card. It's on a black, a true black cardstock base from Paper Tray Ink, four and quarter by five and a half. Um, the background paper is from the Doodlebug uh, cap and gown, which came out last year, and I just did the striped one. I did that one. So. I put that in the background, and then I stamped the Mocha Skylar. I think she came out okay after I colored her. I'm still working on my Copics. Um, I, you know, I had a little bleeding. I used my color blender or colorless color remover a bunch to get rid of all the color, but I still think it turned out pretty good. Um, considering I didn't have pinks that went well together, I only had two, so I had to use one that was like really far off. So I had to do the like the tip trick. Um, but I think it turned out okay, even though, like, the cap turned out better, but, um, I'm still working, but, you know, I'm happy with the results, so, um, the reason I did pink was because apparently the girl loves pink. Normally you would think that you'd want to do the actual graduation gown color, but the girl wanted, she loves pink, her favorite color is pink, so the mom asked me to do it in pink. So, um, for her face, I used these, and then for her hair... I used these three browns, and I tried to make it like a lighter brown, that's why. Like a light, lighter, like a really light brown, I guess. So, I'm still working on hair, still trying to figure out how to get the right shading on hair, but, I don't know. Um, and then for her gown and her shoes and her cap, I used these three. So, as you can tell, RV04 is way off from RV17 and RV19, so I don't have another RV color that's really close to these two. So, um, yeah, that's, I, had, I had to use that. Um, and then for the yellow parts, the little, little part in her tassel, and then the diploma, I used YR12. <coughs> um, for the ground, so that she was actually like standing on something, I used these three colors. And then I put C3 around her diploma and whatever that is. So, she, I don't know, diploma and whatever else she's holding um, to give it some shadow, some depth. And then around her, I did the BG10 so that she kind of had a shadow around her. It's hard to pick up on camera so you can see it. So again, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not awesome at Copic coloring, but I still think it turned out okay. So, I like it. And then I cut it out of the Tailored Expressions Mark Your Spot bookmark. So I cut it and then I just kind of chopped off the bottom of it. And then through the hole I put Raspberry Fizz Satin Ribbon from Paper Tray Ink. And then um, for her name, her name is Brianna obviously, I cut that out of this pink glimmer paper it's from a die cuts with a view stack. I cut that out using the Tailored Expressions Sweet and Simple Alpha upper and lower dies. And then I put it on an angle with the like, bookmark thing. And then I cut out the year using the Sweet and Simple number dies. 
And this is what I'm actually doing my giveaway on. And I don't know when this video will actually go up, but I'm going to be drawing the winner for my giveaway this weekend, which is um, the second weekend in June. So um, that should be up shortly before or after, whenever around the time you see this one. Um, so I cut out the 2014. And then on the front I put some enamel dots just because it was kind of plain over there. So I put some enamel dots from my style stamps. I used the, um, this is one of the pink collections, I'm not sure which one, and then the black and white collection. And then on the inside, I layered a small strip that I had left over at the bottom there. And then I did the We Create Our Tomorrows by What We Dream Today, which is also from the Mocha Skyler. And then the Congratulations at the bottom, and I did that in Raspberry Fizz from Paper to Ink. The Congratulations is in Memento Tuxedo Black, and then I used Congratulations from the Love and Laughter Stampin' Up set. So, that is my card, and I hope the girl likes it. Um, you don't normally get a graduation card custom tailored to you, so, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!